Hello and welcome to whiskey.com by Fine Spirits Meat. And today we have a bit of a, a knowledge video about yeah, the stage between mashing and uh, the washbacks, fermentation. So um, we come off with the, at the, the mash ton of at least 65 degrees Celsius, so pretty hot. And in the, in the wash bags, it suddenly has um, yeah, temperatures of 18, 17 degrees, depending on uh, what time of the year it is. And how does that come? Um, if you'd have the, the 65 degrees uh, wort, as they call it, that comes from the mash tun, and fill it into a wash bag, just add yeast, it will probably nothing will happen because it's too hot for the yeast to work. If it would work with a really, really, really heat resistant yeast, uh, then you would come off with really bad, bad flavors. So what you want to have is you have to cool it down to about 17, 18 degrees. If you do that in the wash bag, that would take days. So you would extend your process of a few days of fermenting to a few days plus another few days for cooling. So that would be really, really bad. So what you do is you have this heat exchanger and it's in kind of a heat exchanger going opposite directions. So the hot wards go in here and the hot water go out here. So um, it, it flows in, in opposite direction, which is common in the, in the industries. You either do it 90 degrees or you do it in line, but in line is much more compact. So it's much more uh, common. So um, here they actually cool it down to a around 18 degrees. I say around because it really depends on what distillery you have. If you have stainless steel wash bags, you have to cool it down not so much because the stainless steel, um, they radiate heat off much more quickly. So the, the wash that is fermenting and producing heat and energy is not raising its temperature as fast. If you have a wooden wash bag, it's very thick, it's isolating really good, so the heat can radiate off. And uh, that means you, um, you, are, you are stuck with higher temperatures. And what you can do is you go lower with the infill temperature. So you have to have the heat exchanger working slower to have lower degrees coming out, out of the heat exchanger or yeah, have a bigger heat exchanger. And during the winter times and summer times, you have different temperatures in most of the washback rooms. So this is why you have to, to adjust. You have to adjust for that. Otherwise, you, have to have, you would have a big taste difference between summer and winter. And you do that by yeah, just lowering the temperature a little bit or hiring the temperature a little bit. And that just gives the, the, the fermentation a different starting point and therefore it, it just runs pretty similar during winter and summertime if you have that lower income, uh, intake temperature. The next thing is um, what you don't usually hear in my videos is the yeast. Sometimes I mention the yeast, but uh, yeast is usually added in dry state. Um, the usual way is you have a, a bag of yeast, they cut it open and they have just filled the wash bags. They fill the dry yeast in, turn it around a little bit, um, that's it. Um, nowadays, more distilleries change to liquid yeast because if you just fill it in, turn around a little bit, it might not come everywhere. So until it uh, spreads around the yeast, uh, it, it takes a while and you want to not have a kind of a consistent wash at all. So um, parts it's already too hot and the other ones it has not already fermented. So if you want to have a, a good yield, that is always what you want to have. You want to have a maximum of alcohol and good flavors. That's the main goal for the fermentation. Then you want to have it everywhere. So you can either have a liquid yeast, which is kind of coming over the last years. So liquid yeast, you have a, um, a very cold tank with liquid yeast in it. You can mix it into your, into your wort pretty easily and that just starts it off immediately everywhere. Or you have here a machine like that. You have the dried yeast, you put it into a funnel and the funnel um, puts it into the wort that is pumped through the machine very, very constantly. So you have a, it spread out evenly and you don't have to do it with all the wort. You can do it with like a third or half, something like that. And the rest is really up to the mixing within the wash bag because in the, inside the wash bag, there's always a, yeah, a vortex going on. And so, yeah, 
that is how yeast gets in. Um, the yeast is also pretty much uh, flavor dependent, but uh, I also mention that in the videos pretty often. So yeah, that was kind of the connection parts between the scenes of the distillery videos between the mash tun and the washback. This is pretty much happening in every distillery. Yeah, sometimes in a little bit of a different way than just here, but it cooling down and adding yeast is yeah not a romantic whiskey distiller's uh, thing that I want to film, but I mentioned it here. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like this video, then please feel free to give me a thumbs up and see you next time.